Ah, oh, the system is working good. Oh, yeah. Got some stone smelting up in here. And since the last episode, I have actually added in these chests here for some random junk that is not going through our sorting system. And of course, eventually, hopefully we'll have a big giant sorting system somewhere out in the ravine. I've also, I don't know if I showed this on camera last time, but I've got cobblestone stairs going all the way up too. Anyway, guys, welcome back to another episode of The Kingdom. Today we're on episode 14 and... I don't really know what we're doing this episode. Let me figure it out. No, in all seriousness, I thought we could decorate the mine. Uh, but, you know, we haven't got our villagers ready to move in here either. And I think we've spent enough time down here. We've spent around about two episodes already down here. So we can, we can move on to another project and come back to this at a later time. And I haven't exactly picked out a location for this project. But I definitely do know what I want to do, and I want to set up a little trading hall for some mending, or not mending, some librarian villages. And even though in 1.1.4.4 the village trading mechanics are updated, I really don't think it'll uh, affect the book trades or anything too much at all. Uh, so we can go ahead and set up a little trading hall with some librarians. And that way we can start to get some books like uh, Silk Touch, Mending, and etc, etc. So, I think what we're going to do is try and get ourselves up into some of these caves up here. Maybe like that. Wait, wait, I'm trying to record, mate. Uh, but yeah, we've got some, got some caverns somewhere up in these, these directions up here. Can't quite remember exactly where they are. I know there's one there, because that used to be our entrance into the ravine. Hey! These guys just won't even let me stand here and think. Um, let me find a cave entrance and we'll come back and have a look at how we can set up our trading hall. And well, realistically, it looks like we've only got our old entrance over there. We have got a little cave over here, but I sort of wanted something a little bit higher up. Uh, so I think we're going to have to go with this one right here. Uh, so let's get down there. What the... That was a bit of a weird water placement. Did you see that? It's sort of like the water source moved down one block. Anywho, let's get up to the cave entrance here. Maybe we can actually just walk walk around. Here at the entrance I stand. So I think what we're going to want to do is uh, we will want to cover that up eventually once we actually get the villagers in here. Um, but what we will want to do is actually open this up a tiny bit more. Um think because what my plan is eventually right is to have like a little swing bridge across from here into like one of these cave entrances so that you can just walk in from I don't know if you can get there from down there but so that you can just walk in up and around over to here uh, obviously that'll work best once this is all actually like covered off from the surface uh, but yeah I think it'll look pretty pretty nice once we get it all in just about died from gravel there. Um, but obviously I'll need to open this up a little bit more too. Uh, if I can safely get there. Uh, but what we're going to do pretty much is just clear out a little bit of an area here. Uh, we'll sort of plan out where we can get our villagers in. I guess the good thing, the good thing to do first off would be figure out how many different books there are that we want to be able to uh, trade. So I'm thinking, obviously, you know, Silk Touch. Uh, we've got our Infinity guy there, so we'll use him. Uh, we obviously want Mending as well. Uh, then you want, like, Aqua Affinity, probably, and uh, Sharpness 4, Efficiency 5, if you, if you can get it, or Efficiency 4, if not. All that sort of good stuff. Um, I'm probably just going to have a look at a list of the enchantments you can get, and then we'll probably try and figure out which enchantments uh, mean the most to me there and then if you guys think I've left any out, anything out from there as well you can obviously let me know in the comments below and we'll see if we can get a villager that matches those those criteria so anyway guys I'll get a little bit of space mind out here uh, try and figure out how many villagers we need in here as well and then actually I think I might leave this up here and we'll like Oy. That happened. I've got a lot of uh, gravel now, which is good. That means if we ever want to use concrete or anything, 
Jeebus, it just keeps coming. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to get an area mined out here, and then we'll come back. We'll have a look at how much space I've got. Hopefully by then I would have worked out how many uh, traders I want in here as well. And at least with leaving this open for the moment while we're building, we've got an easy way to get the villagers in here as well. So, yeah, I'll get, I'll get some of that done. Have a bit of a jump cut here, and I'll see you guys soon. Alrighty, now I've mined out a little area, and for you guys that have uh, been watching since the start, I've actually modeled this off an area in the very first uh, Jay's Kingdom episodes, uh, where I stored all my villages and had a little bit of a farm in here. So this is actually exactly mocked up how some natural generation was done in the caves there. Obviously it wasn't cobblestone, it was just stone and, and everything else, but... Same exact shape. So anyway, I'm thinking uh, with the villagers here, we could have a few in these pods right here. So like one there, one in the middle, one there, and, and so on. So that would give us enough room for nine villagers. And then we can have our unicorns like sitting in here and have some glass panes maybe running along the sides here. Obviously, we're not going to keep this cobblestone. I just did it to sort of mock up a shape and everything as well. Uh, so... Wonder what our uh, our unicorns would probably be like mending, so we could have our mending guy in here, All right? And then we could have like our uh, maybe like a jeez, I don't know, like silk touch or unbreak silk touch or unbreaking. Silk touch is probably a little bit harder to come by than unbreaking, even though unbreaking does like everything. Uh, then we can have, you know, just going around like everyone else, so unbreaking, right here, um, efficiency, right here, uh, we probably want, like, maybe we can keep it with, uh, the tools right here, because efficiency and fortune go on tools, unbreaking goes on everything, but it's very, very useful on tools, uh, then we can have, like, some armor stuff over here, so we can have, like, thorns, uh, aqua affinity, sorry, aqua affinity, is that right? Uh, we can also have depth strider. I'm actually thinking while we're doing this, we probably want like protection as well, but I didn't actually write that down on my list. I'm, I'm like <laughs> doing these off a list. Um, we've got an infinity guy, so we can probably use him. Uh, we can use looting. Right, we can also use respiration. And we probably do want protection in here, come to think of it. I, d I don't know if I really want some guys in here either. I don't think I want guys in there. Is there anything here that we could sacrifice for protection? Thorns, according to the wiki, you can actually only get on certain pieces of armor if you use a book. So the only one that actually comes with thorns on an enchanting table is the body. That's according to the wiki. I'm not too sure how outdated that is, but that's uh, apparently right. Um, maybe. Hmm. Fortune. We definitely want all of these. We definitely want mending. I don't really know how useful thorns, thorns, you and uh, aqua affinity, infinity. Probably don't really need infinity because we've got our skeleton farm down there, um, which will be giving me infinity bows. So maybe we just replace this one with uh, protection, All right? <clears throat> so now we need three, six, nine. 10 and 11 villages to populate uh, this thing right here. But first of all, before we actually go ahead and get any of the villages in here, obviously I will need to open this back up right here uh, so that we can get them in anyways. But I think we should come up with a nice design for this. And obviously, uh, you know, going with the theme, we need some spruce and everything in here as well. So I think what we can do, I actually don't know quite exactly how I want to do this, um, but we could probably get some spruce in here somehow. Um, obviously our villager will be sitting in here, like that. So maybe we could have spruce come down like this, maybe. 
No, because that's obviously going to block it off. You banana. Oh, that's not going to work. Maybe we can have... Maybe we can have, like, spruce come in here. Like this. And in here. Right. Right. Uh, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Oops. Yep. So we do want that stripped anyway. Like that. And then we can have, like, I don't know, either cobble or something else like this. It's looking pretty good. Maybe we can use, like, some stone bricks or something up here instead because like I don't know I don't want to have the whole ravine as uh, <laughs> cobblestone because that'll get it's, it's already sort of almost getting a bit repetitive you know like there's just so much cobblestone going on everywhere now um, it's not even it's not funny it's, it's really not funny how much cobblestone we've got going on but that's looking pretty good that is looking pretty good. And then we'll try, we'll like maybe go into the nether and mine up some glowstone and have some glowstone down here as well so that those light up. Probably actually want to get in some like stone bricks and stuff in here maybe. Uh, we'll have to go and get some stone bricks, but it is an idea that we could sort of flirt with a little bit in here. Um, probably want to block this off a little bit too. I got a bit too carried away when I was mining. Um, put some more spruce I I'm gonna have to like I, I am liking the spruce and cobblestone like variation here which is pretty good it's it's looking looking pretty nice already so far with the spruce and the, the cobble but um yeah I think we need to get a little bit more variation as I said maybe we need to get some stone bricks in here or something similar to stone bricks you know like maybe we just mix in some stone and stuff and we've got a skelly butt trying to attack us uh, oh, you... Ah! Dead. See, that's exactly why we don't need infinity. Like, I think I've got two infinity bows now in my skeleton farm, so we just really don't need infinity. Uh, yeah, I think that's looking pretty cool. I actually kind of like it with the cobblestone. Uh, maybe we just need to think of some extra details here. Like, we do need a pillar here as well to, to separate the villages. And we will also need to figure out... Like, how to get their workstations in here, actually. Yeah, that's going to be another thing. How are we going to get the workstations in these ones? Hmm. Maybe we can just, like, cheat it and have the workstation in there. I wonder if that'll work. I wonder, I wonder. Anyway, I'm going to play around a little bit more with the uh, design of this. And we'll come back and see how it's looking. And then hopefully we'll be ready to get some villagers in here. Alrighty, well I've spent quite a bit of time, we've got a little bit of a design here going on. I do still need to work on the floor a little bit, but I'm really not too sure what we should put in there. I've got the spruce along here. I actually need to add another pillar of spruce right here too. Uh, so if we just go ahead and pop, 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 and pop, and just strip all that as well. That's all looking pretty good. So yeah, I've decided to go with the lecterns here as... Uh, the way that the villagers won't be able to get out and we'll have some uh, trap doors or slabs or something here or maybe we'll just sort of cover this over as well like that once the villagers are in there and then put a trap door here so that they can't get out and baby zombies can't get in and everything just in case we're going to keep this place nice and lit up and of course we've got the glowstone above all of the villager pods another villager will go in here actually uh, yeah so it'll go in here so I've actually gonna move that just over to right here uh, so yeah then another lectern will go in here but this of course is our way to get the villagers in for the moment and yeah I'm, I'm I've still got to design the floor I'm just not too sure what I want to put in I think I've already said that but I'm not really too sure anymore uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll uh, wait until the next episode to get some villagers in here I think uh, and we also need to once we get them in here, cover up this hole into there, of course, because we will have our villagers in behind there. And then we need to devise a better way to get in there from the ravine. So from the outside, it is looking pretty, pretty cool. We will need to, once we devise the way to get in, I'm thinking we have like some sort of bridge or dr like, uh, I'm, I'm thinking like, what are they called? Oh, the rope bridges or something. I'm thinking about trying to design one of those in here and going into 
like one of these cave systems here which we have easy access from uh, down there and that could be a nice way to get in there but of course uh, once we do that if I come back around this side right here uh, we will want to create like a little bit of a nicer entrance and maybe we can obviously have some variation with the stone bricks we can have some mossy stone bricks and uh, cracked stone bricks and everything I also need to cover up this little bit here uh, but maybe we can have some like vines or something or leave blocks or something hanging off uh, to create a little bit of overgrowth and we can probably have that going over the bridge as well which would be pretty cool but uh, that all sort of matches in with this little mezzanine thing that we've got going on here so the spruce and the spruce sort of matching matching and I was thinking you know with the stone bricks obviously we've got stone bricks there and stone bricks in there and I think anything which is built up with like a bit of strip spruce we can have stone bricks and then down here where there's like not really any spruce it's just this mezzanine uh, we just have like the cobblestone sort of look but yeah guys that is all I've got time for for today's episode I hope you did enjoy and I am back. We're going to uh, probably go on with one episode a week. Uh, just because of other commitments that I've got going on in my life right now as well. Uh, but hopefully you guys are alright with that. And I am sorry that it hasn't been a video for the last two weeks. Things just got a little bit crazy and out of hand in uh, real life. And I just did not have time to finish off this episode. But I am back. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now. Yeah.